Superman of science And he loves to play with fire And the things you do You can do If you so desire Do try this at home With Mr. G Hello and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. Do Try This at Home is the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. I'm your host, Mr. G, and today on Do Try This at Home, I am going to go back to the roots of the show and experiment with some burning stuff. We're going to burn some paper and some plastic, but we're not going to burn it with fire. We're going to burn it with insane amounts of instantaneous heat that is built up by two heavy objects colliding with each other. That's right. So what are you going to need to do today's experiment? You're going to need a couple of hammers, full size heavy hammers work the best, some plain old paper like printer paper, I've got several sheets here and some here that I've already messed around with, and a plastic bag would be nice to experiment with as well. So. To get started with today's uh, experiment, what are we going to do? We're going to simply take, ah, I forgot this. What is this? This is just a coat hanger bent so that I've got something to hang the paper on. Just bent it into a sort of a frame that allows me to hang paper over it. So what are we going to do to get started now? We're going to simply take, we'll just start with, ah, I'll tell you what, let's actually use one, two, three. We'll use three sheets of standard printer paper, just white paper. And you want to hang this, so you want to fold it up near the top, you want to hang this paper over your frame like that. Now, what do you think would happen if I took these two hammers and I smacked them together so that they met in the middle as hard, real hard, like this? Boom! I guarantee it's going to make a heck of a lot of noise, that's the first thing. So, if you've got pets or anything that are going to be afraid of loud noises, Put them outside. That's what I did with my dogs. So, here I go. Let's see what happens. Let's see what the outcome is of two heavy hammers colliding with each other with a piece of paper between them. Well, it knocked the frame down. That's one of the uh, outcomes. But it also punched a hole right through the paper. Ah! But this is no ordinary hole. It isn't punched through the paper. It's burned through the paper. Let's do that again. Wow. Wow. And I'm going to show this to you up close and show you that it actually has what appear to be burn marks on the paper. See that? There you go. Look at that. Now, if you smell the paper, it definitely smells like you have burned it with a match. Now, to prove there's a lot of heat involved here, Normally, if you just bang something heavy into a piece of plastic, like a plastic bag, a Ziploc bag, nothing really probably is going to happen. You're thinking, well, what's the big deal there? So I'm going to fold this bag so that it's actually like double. So you've got some bag on this side and some bag on this side. Then I'm going to put the hammers to the test again. Here we go. We're going to bang them together hard. And again. And again. Now, what's this done? Let's take it off. We can't. It has melted the plastic, look at this, together. Check it out. Actually melted the plastic, fused the plastic, the polymers together. And that is from heat. And these look much more like burn holes than holes that have been poked through plastic. And if you examine it closely, you can smell, you can smell the burnt plastic. That's right. So, let's see if we can poke a hole through even thicker paper. Now, I was messing around, so that's already got some holes on that side, but I know what we'll do. We'll take the paper that we've already used now, we've only got three holes, as you can see, and we're going to go ahead and fold that paper right in half again, like that. And then, that's going to be six layers of paper. That's a lot of paper. And then I'm going to fold, I'm going to hang that over there. I'm going to try near the bottom here so that our upper holes, our holes on this side are up here. So I can show you that it will try to go through all six layers of paper. Ah, uh, you didn't hit it squarely. You've got to hit the hammers squarely. Not like that. Not a good way to do it. 
Well, I'll tell you what. We'll give it one last try. <laughs> you got an outtake without even watching the outtakes. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna do it. Here we go. I won't miss this time. I need my glasses, maybe, huh? Ah, I missed again. There we go. And sure enough, a hole right through all six layers of paper. And man, does that smell burn. It really does. And I can, I can see in there, so there we go. Woo! I smell burning paper all over my kitchen. Anyway, uh-oh, the doggies want to come in, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to end it here. Give it a try, it's pretty cool. Heat through the collision of two heavy metal objects. It's just, it is pretty amazing, and the burn marks, they're pretty cool too. Um, try different types of paper, try different types of plastic, and see what kind of results you get. I'm Mr. G, and I'll see you next time right here on Do Try This at Home! Okay, now that we've hung our paper over our wire frame, you want to take your... Whoa! Hold on. It's like a divining rod. But you should hit the hammers together. Hold on. Let's do that again. Free outtake. Let's try one more time here. Ready? Here we go. Be ready and... Dang it! <laughs> well, I'm having a bit of difficulty here. Maybe I need a bigger target. I don't know. See, those just nicking each other kind of work, but uh, let's start that over. Okay, what are you going to need to do today's little experiment? You're going to need two pieces of paper, 